Hey guys, we have a query that is growing ginormous, so I want to put it to a stop, and that is our message query. Right now, we fetch the username. You can see the username right here for each message. We fetch the username for every single message, so it's super inefficient, and we're not batching it together, so we're going to fix that with Data Loader right now. So let's show you guys the query that's getting run. I'm just going to refresh this page, um, load all these messages. Here is the select statements that are getting run. You can notice we're just selecting um, the user a bunch of times. And you know, look at this, we're selecting user one multiple times, user three multiple times. It's a super sloppy query, so let's fix that. So we're gonna be using data loader for this and we're literally gonna copy the same template of how we did it for channel loader. So first thing, we're gonna create a new data loader. So how data loader works is you don't wanna share this across multiple um, guys or queries so I'm going to create a separate one for a user loader and it's going to be a new data loader and it's going to take IDs and I want to create a new batch function for it so user batch function and we can just call it batcher too we'll use the same naming convention and then like we have this I'm going to pass in IDs and I don't think we need the user for this. I'm just going to pass in IDs and models, and we can pass in the user later if we need to. Okay. So give that a save. And I don't know why we're getting an unexpected token. I think it just hasn't loaded yet. Okay, so we're going to import this and create this user bash batcher function. So. Oops, there we go, user batcher. And so in my message over here, this is where we are loading the user. So we're now going to use our user loader and we're just gonna say user loader dot load and we're gonna load user ID. And so we don't need the models here anymore. So now instead of actually fetching the query for each user, for each message, we're going to pass it to our load function and it's gonna batch those all together, cache them. So if we're requesting user one multiple times, we won't fetch it multiple times. So in our user loader, function over here. So I'm in batch functions now. I'm just going to copy um, this function here, our channel batcher, because it's going to be very similar. And we're going to say user batcher. And now for us, we don't need a user. Okay, so again, here is where we are going to have uh, multiple IDs. Each is an ID for a user. And now what we're going to be returning is each an array and each one is going to map to a user and it's going to have a new username like Bob or whatever. So first thing we can do a query and so here we're going to just select um, we're going to select everything from users as you and then we don't need to do any of this nonsense. Um, we're just going to say UID is in um, and we'll say IDs say uh, user IDs. Okay, so we're just selecting all from users where user ID is in user IDs, and then we're just gonna replace user IDs with the IDs that we have there that uh, we're getting passed in. And then the model that's gonna be returned is going to be a user, and we're gonna do raw to get raw stuff back. And now we're gonna group everything together. So here, instead of grouping by team, we're gonna group um, by user basically. So for us, we're gonna results for each R. Now it's just gonna be R.ID. And we're gonna push R. And yeah. So we, instead of using basically the team ID, we're grouping by the user's ID. And then we're just going to map and each ID that we were trying to load. We're just going to 
grab from the group and paste it in there. Now for us, we should only really be fetching one user for each one. So instead of pushing, what we can do is just this. So the one before we were fetching multiple, but users is not gonna be an array. Well, the result here is gonna be a row. We're gonna get rows of users. But for example, um, one ID is gonna to map to one user. So it might be ID one, we'll have one user. And so we wanna return an object of each one. So here we're gonna group by user ID. And then here we're gonna have, for example, instead of an array of, or, yeah, an array of arrays, we're just gonna have an array of objects and each object is a user. So for example, ID of one, and then username could be Bob or whatever. So I think this is good now and we can get rid of our dummy function that we had here. So I'm gonna give this a save and I wanna open up the logs and we can see our query getting run and see if it's better. And actually before we do, there's one syntax error I have in my query. Oops, user IDs is gonna be an array so we just need to wrap it like that. Similar to how we did up here, like that. Okay. So now I'm gonna refresh the page and we're gonna load each message. And now instead of loading each time per message, we should see one select statement. And let's see, here we go. Select all from users. And now you can see we're fetching user one, two, and three so this is much better. So instead of possibly hundreds of queries, depending on the number of messages in a channel, we're only doing one. So it's a giant improvement we just made uh, on efficiency and it would, will help um, the number of concurrent users we can uh, have using our website at once. So that's it for this video, guys. I just want to get that um, fixed because it could cause a huge slowdown in the server. So thanks for watching.